Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author and trading view with over 190K reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about USD JPY. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first, I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, which are essentially hedge funds. So the big players in the market. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which has just created a very strong impulse to the upside and has now started this correction. Now, in creating this break to the upside, the market has now created new monthly structure. In fact, what we have here is this previous level of monthly resistance, which now that the market has broken it to the upside, is turned support here. So what we could expect at this point is a retest of this previous monthly resistance turned support, and then to get a rejection to the upside away from this level. We can also notice how from a pattern standpoint, we had a very clear impulse to the upside followed by this correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure a correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 0.32 and 50% of the Fibonacci taken on this monthly impulse candle, which are currently lining up exactly in this area. Now, this creates confluence of support because we have multiple supports areas lining up exactly in the same area of price and this means that in this area we have very strong liquidity so we could expect this market to want to go and test this zone and then to reject it to the upside now dropping down on the weekly time frame we can see how things are getting even more interesting because from a weekly perspective increasing this move to the downside the market is also currently printing this m pattern here and as i explained many times after the creation of an m pattern what we could expect is a rejection to the upside for the completion of the pattern at the neckline which is the pre Previous support turned resistance here. So by putting together the monthly and weekly time frames, what we could expect at this point is a bit more bearish price action and then to get a rejection to the upside for the completion of this M pattern at the neckline. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily perspective, first of all, I did speak about USDJPY a few days ago after the market had created this move to the downside. When the market was here, I explained all the reasons for which we expected first this move to the upside, and that is exactly what the market gave us. And then I made another analysis explaining all the reasons for which from here we could expect this move lower. And again, that is exactly what the market gave us. And by the way, I will link in the description this previous analysis so you can go and check them out for more free education. Now, before we continue, Continue with the technicals here from a daily perspective let's first go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders and how institutions are moving their positioning now what we can see here is that with the last reports we went from having minus 99k net positions down to sitting at minus 105k net positions in the long run we can see how we went from minus 56k at the high now we're sitting at minus 105k so in the long run institutions have been moving to the bearish side of the gpy and keep in mind that all currencies on the spot are traded against the usd so if institutions are moving to the bearish side for the gpy it means that actually they are longing usd JPY. And this increases the probabilities that we could get a rejection to the upside for the completion of that weekly M pattern, especially if we get a bit, a bit more of bearish continuation, because essentially at that point, we could expect more institutional longing, which we already know that has been happening. And at that point, that would further increase the probabilities of a potential rejection to the upside away from this level, completing 
that weekly M pattern. So how I could be approaching a potential move higher away from this area. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames. So for our and lower. Therefore, potentially what I could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as, we, as I would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to a bullish market and provide to me one of my valid entries at that point, I could be looking for a potential move higher for the market to complete that weekly M pattern at the neckline. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the TransparentFXTrading.com website, which is linked both in the description and in my bio. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns and the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here, past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join in order to gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, let me know in the comments below any pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos, and I will see you in my next breakdown.